I'm going to tell you about a really useful feature of enterprise data quality now, and that is reference data writing. So let's start with a quick recap of what reference data is and how it's used. Well, reference data is data that's held within enterprise data quality within its repository, and it's maintained there. Uh, you can create it manually if you want to, and you can edit it manually if you want to with an EDQ. And it can be used in order to check or enhance uh, the working data uh, that you're working with in your data quality process. Okay, there are some examples on this slide of, of the kind of things that you can keep in reference data. So your reference data might contain lists of valid or invalid values. You can check the values in your working data against the valid or invalid values in your reference data. Or your reference data might contain uh, delimiters or noise characters. Have I got noise in a particular field? Well, the way we check is we look against reference data. Do any of those noise characters like hashes or pound symbols or uh, percentage characters that we don't expect to be in a field, are they there? Okay. Now let's just think about uh, using reference data to enhance the working data. One example of that, and it's a, it's a simple one, is um, a title gender map. So for example, if your working data doesn't hold um, reliable gender information, or perhaps doesn't hold any gender information, but you have titles, so Mr, Mrs, Ms, Miss, you can derive the gender from the title. So to do that, you create some reference data, which is map reference data. You look up on the title, you return the gender. So if you look up and you find the title is Mr, you look in the reference data, you find the gender associated with that is male, or for Mrs or Miss or Ms, it would be female or F. So that's an example of, of how you can use reference data. Um, but really, the sky's the limit. You know, you can create your own processes using your own reference data. Now, that reference data could be manually created in EDQ. Um, it could be that you've copied it and pasted it into EDQ from uh, some other source. You do have the ability to look up on external data outside of EDQ and use it as if it were reference data. But what we're looking at here is the ability of EDQ to enable you to create your own reference data automatically from an EDQ process. So that's what we're looking at here, the ability to write out reference data from an EDQ process. So you can put together your own process in EDQ. It can be as simple or as complex as you need it to be. And at the end of that process, you can put on a writer, the writer processor. And that writer processor, yes, it can create staged data. Yes, it can write to a real-time stream, to a web service. But it can also write out reference data. So you can create EDQ processes at the end of them, put on a writer. And that writer can write out reference data. You can then maintain that reference data within EDQ. You can edit it manually if you want to. You can keep on um, updating your reference data by running your process again with slightly different variables or different incoming data. And the reference data you create can then be used in another EDQ process to check the working data or to enhance it generally. So what I want to do now is to show you one or two examples of how you might use this reference data writing functionality to automatically create reference data, which can then be maintained in EDQ and used in other EDQ processes.